Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing near Automata on the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G with the Vega 11 integrated graphics. I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip down at those sections of the video, check the description below. So well, first of all, this is not a good PC port and the developers didn't release any official patch at all so the community tried to fix the game so there is a mod called far that you can find down in the description if you're interested in getting it it helps out a lot with tweaking the game and using the adequate settings so while well, the most important option for performance in that mod is called global illumination which is an option that tries to simulate light bouncing like in real life because light bounces off surfaces so the lower this setting is the better the frame rate will be because the global illumination option will be less accurate so the game should run better due to that. But for what I could see, this game performs better on AMD GPUs. You can really notice that when you're lowering the global illumination option. On AMD GPUs, it doesn't have a huge performance difference. Still, the game doesn't run that well, so we need this mod in order to change the global illumination option. Without the mod, that option is not accessible in the game. The integrated Vega 11 GPU into this APU is clocked at 1240 MHz and I have two 4 GB sticks running at 3000 MHz so we got dual channel 3000 MHz on the RAM dual channel is very important for APUs and the RAM frequency is as well so if you have a higher frequency on your RAM you should be getting better performance and you can also overclock the GPU inside this APU it's at 1240 MHz but you can overclock it to around 1550 if you're lucky 1600 so that means that you can get better performance than this so keep that in mind if your RAM is at 2666 or something like that it should still be very close to this not the same but close enough and you'll see that some of the stats shown in the overlay are not correct that's because this overlay comes with the mod and the mod doesn't recognize the APU. That's why the GPU usage and share zero options are not correct. 1080p lowest settings with the global illumination quality set to low. It runs better here than the GT 1030 for what I could see. You can check the GT 1030 video down in the description. On that video I had to turn off that global illumination option and I still had some drops below 30 while fighting. Then on 900p I was able to max out the game and keep the global illumination on medium. On that one I'm trying to be over 30 frames per second as much as possible because even at lower settings on 900p it's impossible to get 60 frames per second. And finally at 720p I first show you the highest settings including the global illumination option which is maxed out and then I just lower the settings to the minimum to see what frame rate we get. So the decision to what options to use are up to you. I'm just showing you the results I got and the admin occlusion option for some reason has SMAA bundled in which is a post-process anti-aliasing solution in my opinion it looks better than FXAA but for some reason it's just bundled with admin occlusion which in my opinion makes no sense but yeah guys that's pretty much it I hope you keep enjoying the video thanks for watching and see you next time <laughs>